Hey guys, it is Sunday, May 10th. It's another sweaty day. It's the afternoon now. I quickly bought some turnips in Animal Crossing, showered, and then we had a phone call with Christian's parents, and then we had a video chat with my family. Just like a little Mother's Day chat, plus it was my mom's birthday yesterday. So yeah, the, the video chat lasted quite a while. It was like almost two hours. <laughs> so yeah, that finished up, and then I busted out the cat's harnesses because I kind of want to give the harness thing another try. I've been hesitant because, well, when, when we've tried in the past, they didn't like it, but they obviously have to get used to it. They just were really scared about being outside. We don't let them free roam because it's way too dangerous for them. And yeah, like right now they're scared of outside. So part of me is like, well, they don't know what they're missing, you know. I'm sure they love to be out on a harness because they like when we set up the little cat tent. But uh the downside is they might always try to escape if they learn to love outside. So that could be a problem if they're trying to sneak out every time the door is open. But, you know, I just, you know, they just live their little kitty lives. I feel like their lives would be enriched if they go out on a leash and harness. So, yeah, busted out their old harnesses. Midna's too big for hers. Kiki fits hers, right? It's not even expanded all the way. Nope. You can't really see it because it's blending into her fur. It's not even that tight. Look at this is probably too loose. I might even need to tighten it more. We'll see. It depends how squirmy you get when we're outside. And then for midnight, I had to go to PetSmart and buy a bigger harness. <laughs> hey, Midna. Look at you. Should have put Kiki in this one, even though it's got Midna's name on the tag. Does that mean actually see it? She's biting it. You gonna give yourself a walk? You look at these crusties on the ground. I just vacuumed too. Vacuumed yesterday. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Walking yourself. Oh, what is she mean? Yeah, I figured today's a good day because it's nice out and there's no construction. Is it too loose around her body? Let me see that. It looks like it's... <laughs> Before I could hardly get my fingers under, now it's like, whoa. Come here. Come I mean, there's a bit of... It does look a bit loose when she's standing up. Just don't let her, like, pull backwards against it. Like if it starts tugging this way, then that's when it's a problem. See, look, you love outside. You love when we have the windows open. You love your tent. And look, baby. I'm kind of nervous to hold the camera in case I need to try to grab her, like if she's slipping. I'll just let her explore. Oh, is the leash spooking you when it touches you? <laughs> is it spooky? <laughs> Minna's the one who gets a little more curious about the door when it's open. Yeah. You should sniff the grass, I bet you'd like it. Oh, she's getting curious. Come on, Geek. Don't you want to experience nature? Sniff the flowers and the grass? Maybe let's try picking them up and sitting them in the grass. Sure. Christian carried her down to the grass, but she immediately ran back up. And then Kiki was just scritching everything as soon as I picked her up. <laughs> what a sight. Doesn't it smell nice though? You looking at your sister? She's not immediately running inside though, like she ran towards the door, but now she's chilling. She's meowing, but she's looking around. She's trying to get into the bushes. Kind of regretting being barefoot, but. Well, make sure. Is it a reference Yeah. I heard it in the house. I'm trying to come out. But the door's open. She can go 
back in if she wants. But I think she's she's curious, even though she's a little scared. We've been out here for several minutes now. Midna's up there. <laughs> are, you, are you ready to go back in? That was really good progress. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You ready to go in? Okay. You too. Was that enough adventure for one day? Yeah. It is 1.22. I think it's a little late to post a vlog so I was going to edit one and get it uploading. I could still start editing it, but I also want to just work on some art. I'm very in the mood to paint, so I should do that. I checked some store email stuff and was responding to tweets and things and then a delivery arrived. Not too exciting. The sundresses I ordered, none of those have arrived yet, but my first nightgown arrived. <laughs> so yeah, this is stuff from Amazon. It's so weird because I ordered this completely separately. Like I ordered this stuff like two weeks ago, the nightgown, and there's some Amazon Basics panties. But then these I just ordered on Friday or whenever, was it Friday? Yeah, these are on my label paper rolls for my thermal label printer. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted something kind of like old as they looking. <laughs> it looks to be a good size too. I don't want it too tight. I like my pajamas baggy. I'll change into it with my shirt on. I'm wearing a black bra, so I'll put it on right now. Just on top of my clothes. See what it's like. It's a nice thin, breathable fabric. Good, good. <laughs> I have other similar styled ones coming. Do I tie this? I guess I could choose to if I want it higher up. <laughs> Comes down below the knee. It's got a little lacy edge at the bottom. A little sleeve ruffle. <laughs> I love this. Why don't people still wear this kind of thing? Kind of want to try without the shirt, but I'm wearing a black bra. Just a warning. You will see it through, but I guess it's better than seeing my nips. Or is it? When I'm wearing this, I probably won't be wearing a bra unless I'm vlogging or something. I'm trying to decide if I would actually sleep in this or just like wear it around the house. Like loungewear. <laughs> what do you think of my nightgown, Christian? <laughs> Looks like you took it out of an episode of Outlander. <laughs> From an episode of Outlander? Nice faux hawk. And here it is with the top tied up. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. <laughs> it makes my boobs look huge though. Like it's it's going right in between the ditties. So, yeah. Got that on Amazon. <laughs> I'm just setting up some stuff for my painting. Oh, I need to get out my acrylics as well because I want to do an acrylic base coat. Need my brushes. I'm going to have my iPad up here with some reference because I'm doing a study. And what else was I going to grab? Oh, yeah, the... Uh, down here. Palette. I gotta do a gesso coat. This has to charge. So I can charge while my gesso's drying. I'm doing sort of a zoomed in study of three women near pool feeding swans. <laughs> Makes me feel better about my painting titles. <laughs> it's by Hans Zatzka. I just, I need to, I need to do a study of this. This is a cropped version of the art. The full thing is like this, but I just, I want to zoom in on like the fabrics and the flowers and just, just try that. I want to try it out. I want to try to replicate that look because it's so good. So that's what I'm going to be working on. First step though, we need to get some gesso down. Let's get this zoomed in properly. That's probably good enough for now. 
switch to manual focus, open OBS. I'm so tempted to buy a print of this art to hang. Although this is like my favorite part right here. I like it cropped. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. It's stunning. Stunning. First layer of gesso is down. <sighs> now I gotta play the waiting game, Geek. And do a second coat and wait again. I should just pre-gesso all my boards one day. Just do a mass gessoing. <laughs> what I'm gonna do while this dries is take a picture of the heart and then overlay it on the painting so I know exactly what area I'm gonna paint onto the heart. That'll make it a little easier. <laughs> I have my little mask created and I can go around and pick which part I want. Okay. I just want something down here. Really want those wrinkles, the flowers, and I love seeing a bit of this sheer sheerness on the side, so I might go with something like that. It's a little weird seeing the tip of the elbow, but I think that's what I want to try to paint. From the beginning. By late November, the days as well as the nights were cold, and the rain clouds began to hang lower on the slopes above us. The weather, unfortunately, had no dampening effect on people's tempers. Everyone was increasingly edgy, and for obvious reasons. I took some respite from the prevailing mood of edginess by taking stock of the pantry. Braids of onions and garlic and strings of dried fish hung from the ceiling. Bags of flour and beans, barrels of salt beef and salt fish, and stone jars of sauerkraut stood on the floor. I counted over my board like a squirrel reckoning nuts and felt soothed by our abundance. Okay, I have my acrylic base coat done. Part of me is like, oh, I could even call that done or like close to done, but I want to do more with it and I want to refine things more and it'll be much easier once I have an oil layer where it's not just going to dry too fast. So, now, now, seems to be a lot more yellow too. Let's look at the comparison. Ooh. The colors are not the same yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Baby one, baby two. Speaking of babies, catch him calendar. I drink from the toilet like a dog. Today I pooped on the living room floor and was relentless about jumping in the kitchen on the kitchen countertops. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Wait, is some of the poop on his face or is that the fur pattern? I can't tell. And why does it look like it had a weird haircut? Must have been a long haircut and they tried trimming it or something? I have no clue. I have so many questions. And the tail is like a little brown strip? Or is that more of the poo? <gasps> no, I think that's the tail. And if it is, then maybe that is fur color. Why am I analyzing this so much? Okay. The way her paws are curling over the edge. It's so cute. What? You need some attention? Here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait. So it's now the next day. I woke up for my workout stream and felt how warm it is and said, hell no, I am not going to work out in this heat. This has been a thing I've been thinking about for a while. I'm like, what am I gonna do when it gets warmer out? Like, how am I gonna tolerate the workouts up here? They have to be downstairs. But how am I gonna stream it downstairs? I don't have a computer set up. My laptop hates OBS. It cannot run live streams from it. So I was like, how am I gonna do this in the basement? So that's been on my mind for a while. And also, I've been thinking about... Okay, hold on. I need to finish what I was saying before I open this up. Christian's like, oh, what is it? In due time. Um, <laughs> with moving to Warehouse downstairs, I was really bummed that I'd miss out on the Warehouse packaging streams, because again, can't stream down there. So I'm like, well, now that I have two things I need in the basement, it's more worth it to get another computer, especially because live streams aside, using my laptop for the store stuff, it works. It works fine. I just have to constantly haul my laptop back and forth between this room and the warehouse. You still peeking? I'll come show you the stuff when I open it. Uh, I don't even know what's in the one package. Oh, okay. 
See, now you guys probably just want to know what's in the package, too, and you don't even care what I'm saying right now. <laughs> anyway, this is my big thing to talk about for today. <laughs> um, this morning, so yeah, instead of doing the, the workout stream, I spent two hours researching different things I could use for my setup, because it's not just the computer. Like, I would need a desktop computer, I would need two monitors, any cables to go with it, connect monitors to the computers. I would need a camera, but like a good one, because what I use currently for my workout streams is one of my little, um, like my fancy Sony Alpha 6500s. They connect to the computer, but like they also use a fancy capture card, and I'm like, I can't do that. I have to go webcam. And there is this Logitech Brio webcam. I was researching that a lot. It's a lot nicer than the C920 that I have right now. I also have a C922, or I have like three of them in total, but. Yeah, it's nicer than those ones. I watched a lot of video tests on YouTube, all this stuff. I also need a microphone, and I'm like, okay, hey, I don't want another Blue Yeti. Like, I have a Blue Yeti Pro. I'm like, I'm not buying another one of those, especially because in the workout streams, I'm not even close enough to the mic for it to sound good. So I got, I got a Blue Snowball, and there's this program you can download to make the sound a little better. So I'm going to try that out, too. Really, I should try that up here with my existing mic, too. So yeah, I think that was that it. There's the cables, tower, monitors, microphone, camera. And I don't need a capture card because I still have my Elgato one. So who thankfully I kept that. What I was thinking too is steal the steel cushion switch dock because I can leave it down there because I play Just Dance and Ring Fit Adventure, which both require the switch. And I don't want to disconnect it up here because I'll probably still do my Animal Crossing streams up here because I've got the chair, even though I guess if it's a really hot day, I might still go down there. I just won't be as comfortable, but I don't know. I mean, temperature-wise, I'd be more comfortable. Chair-wise, less so. <laughs> anyway, and I was also planning the layout of the room. Because I'm like, okay, well, I was going to maybe put the tables between the two windows. Okay, this is bright. Low. So, like, you walk in normally from below. Wait. Oh, yeah, because it's showing it to me mirrored. I'm like, this looks weird. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking of putting this this between the windows and I was like, well, is that enough room for working out? So I did a different layout where I'm kind of more in the corner, but I actually like this. I think it should work out. You gotta plan out where the elliptical goes and yeah. Ooh, I could do an elliptical stream. That'd be boring. Okay. <laughs> so I've been planning all that out. I ordered the stuff. The, the computer I got is a refurbished one. Because I was like, oh, there's no way I'm shelling out the money for a new one. Especially because I need the specs to be at least good enough for live streaming. So I got a refurbished one. It was like 600 bucks, which is a good chunk of change. But compared to the one up here, oh, this one's way more expensive. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for computer, with those specs, is a pretty good bargain. So, yeah. I basically just tried to go the inexpensive route. So, yeah. Bit the bullet on that. And I'm very excited. I don't know when all that stuff's gonna come. I feel like I don't wanna do the workout streams. In the meantime, I might do the occasional Animal Crossing one, but like, I just can't up here. Like, it's, it's gotten to the point. It's too warm. There was other stuff also delivered today. I got a Uline delivery. It's just a partial delivery. The rest is coming tomorrow. Although most of this stuff came today. Just they had to send some from a different warehouse. It's my lack mug. As if I need more mugs. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, now there's this. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about these. Okay. These are <laughs> basically fake AirPods. Wait, this doesn't even brand it the same as... These better not be white like the box shows. This is not what I ordered. Oh, I guess there's a color on the side. But it doesn't even have their brand name on it. They're supposed to be Fruity Pods is the brand. And they're knockoff AirPods. They were like 20 bucks or something. Eh? Okay, here's a pink one. I don't know if I can use these for streaming though because I need to be plugged into my computer. But, <laughs> just for everyday life, walking down the street, whatever, I like to 
listen to music when I run errands a lot of the time. It's kind of springy, the enclosure. Yeah, wait, which one goes on which ear? Oh god, it's lighting up. It's not really showing up on camera, but... Oh, it's beeping at me. So yeah, there's this light pink, peachy kind of color, and then one more. Wait, what's with the cable? It's got a lightning adapter. Oh, because that goes on here. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> and I got blue! I was kind of torn between the colors. I'm like, maybe I should have two sets. And then it was like, oh, buy two and your second one is half off. And I was like, okay, sure. Don't know if the sound will be any good, but yeah. I don't like spending too much on headphones because I always break them. Bloop, 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 bloop. Kiki, do you want some? I bought one pair for you. These are for you and Midna. should plug them in. Now these boxes will be great for drawer organization. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Here's the real gift. The real... Yeah, Kiki. I'm just like a cat. I'm getting excited over the boxes. The more I'm looking at this, the more it feels like the, the head's a bit low on this. So I just went into Redbubble and nudged it up. So if you end up getting one of these, her head will be a little higher. So you'll see a little more of the flowers in the foreground. Now, for the U-Line order, there are a few things up here because it's just habit to bring it upstairs instead of downstairs. But we brought the rest down, and it was very handy having Christian to help me. So we have crinkled paper, four boxes of them. We have a bunch of flat boxes in here. There's more boxes coming tomorrow. And is that all there is down there? Yes, more boxes. <laughs> that box upstairs was the free table, which will open up right away. And then this, oh, this would be the glassine sleeves for my enamel pins. I'm gonna open that up, just double check it. Yeah, glassine sleeves. The small ones for pins, because I have enough of the, the big ones for prints. Now let's open up the table. Maybe I should turn a light on. Or else we can move into the main area. Isn't that better? It's got a little travel bag. This is the freebie with the order. You can always select a freebie, it just depends on the value of your order. But yeah. Eventually I'm going to have to get my friends to pick stuff, otherwise I'm going to have too much stuff. But this table I do really want possibly to display my calico critters on. Very interesting. This is the top piece. Ooh. So this is kind of bungee, like this is elastic in here. It is quite flimsy, <laughs> but it'll do the trick because it's got that elastic, elastic through here. It like, slides around. So yeah, calico critters can go on that and then they can have their outdoor jazz concert. Although I think you're still going to terrorize the calico critters no matter where I put this. 
Oh my god. Here, wanna try again? <laughs> You're a goof. Why didn't put my earrings in yet? I've been vlogging this whole time with naked ears. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go put my earrings in and I'm gonna place a slot box order because I keep forgetting to do that. It's really the last thing I need to order for store supplies. Oh yeah, now I'm all blinged up for the final few minutes that you'll maybe see me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm working on my, my painting more today, so won't be filming much of that. First though, let's go check out the slot boxes, see what we got. So I have those flat ones, those are large boxes. Over here we have, well there are some large ones in here. It's really hard to know what I'm going to need because this is really if people get like maybe two pins or maybe like just the two washi tapes and it's only for Canadian orders these ones so yeah I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I never know. I feel like I have quite a few medium and small. But at the same time, like maybe I'm playing it too safe. It's not like this is the last time I'm opening my store, so it's okay if I get extras. Small, I'll probably be okay. I feel like it's going to be rare to use small. Because even the sticker sheets won't fit in medium. Sticker sheets and prints require the large one. I mean, it might even be enough. I might just need large. But even then, their listings only go up to a certain quantity. So they want you to contact them with a request so they can put in a custom listing for you and then you buy that listing just so they can have more accurate shipping costs and stuff so let's take a peek okay i got a tad distracted replying to vlog comments since that also went live today okay slot box the small and medium is out of stock production has been hindered by covid19 hopefully the new shipment will arrive may 15th oh, i mean that works i think i just need the large so woohoo because let's say there's going to be 200 Canadian orders, then I'm sure 120 of the large would be okay. Actually, no, I'd probably need more. But it's hard to know. Like, and I've also never done the stickers before because that's going to bump up the box size. I might email, I might just ask them for 200, a custom listing. Wait, they have a 240. Wait, did they have this before? I swear they did not have a listing this large. I'm going to get that. 240. There we go. Then I don't have to email them. I can just buy it right now. Slot boxes are ordered and now I need to print out receipts for everything I've purchased today and put them in my filing cabinet. And I got to print out a shipping label for Janine's thank you package. I couldn't do it on the weekend when I tried because the Canada Post label ordering, the EST portion of the website was down for maintenance. So I will attempt again today. So I brought Janine's package to the post office and I dropped off checks to my accountants to pay for them filing our taxes and I'm back now finally sitting down to paint it's almost three o'clock now I just had so many little things to get to but oh, it feels so good having that all off my mind I just kept finding things last minute like oh yeah I gotta respond to these emails oh yeah I gotta do this I can just sit and breathe now Let's see if anything news on YouTube and if not I'll just throw on the Outlander audiobook which is what I was listening to yesterday and drink some water I'm very hot and sweaty Switching to oils today. Ooh. This is safflower oil. It's good for cleaning your brushes while you're still painting. And then when I'm done painting, I use Gamsol. Cleans brushes, thins oil, colors, non-toxic. Yoo-hoo. I've got a plastic thing in there, which just helps with the brushes if you're trying to clean them off. Add some friction. Okay. Ow, the teeth on this thing, they hurt. There we go. Look at the size of this, by the way. Here's my normal white. Here's this one. I'm dipping into the big one because this uses a lot of white, so might as well pull from this big boy. Oh, it just oozed oil onto the palette. Ugh. It's like it's peeing. 
There we go. October 1769. Oh, they're going to play it now. Now that I'm vlogging. Now they got you on Roger camera. Opened his eyes and threw she up. just kept stuttering and, and then stopping. Down. And I was like, it's okay, Alexa. Keep going. Keep trying. <laughs> A book is already playing. What? A vial through his nose and the trickle of vomitus that ran into his hair were unimportant by comparison with the agony in head and groin. A thumping swirl of movement jarred him. Shooting kaleidoscopic colors from crotch to brain. I feel like I'm just making the colors muddier than they were, but that's because like they were too clean before, too pink. But now I'm just like, am I ruining this? <laughs> Was it better before? <laughs> I think it'll just have its ugly stage as I go back in with oils, the same way it had its ugly stage in acrylics. The only thing is that like I'm trying to just do this one layer of oils because it's kind of an experiment of using acrylics as the base which a lot of people do but I've never really tried it so I'm just using it as a way I could speed up my process potentially because I did the base coat yesterday it's fully dry I can move on to the rest of it you know plus the reference I'm looking at just is really rough so I'm trying to not be too clean with it let it be messy. Let the oils be the way they want to be. Okay, I'm all done now. And looking at my OBS clip that I recorded, where I started at today and where it ended at, it definitely turned out better. There was a point where I was like, this is just, you know, I'm ruining it. But, yeah, it's, it's way better when you compare the before and after. So, yeah. I need to continue fleshing out the talking points for the video because the, the voiceover is what really matters for this video which is me talking about the YouTube stuff. So just want to make sure it's all good to go because tomorrow I'm going to film the voiceover for it and hopefully even just edit the whole video. Three days ago, I walked in on you guys playing cards without me. Three days ago. Lucky for you, it had to be unanimous. Okay, it is midnight. When I first sat down on the couch, I played about an hour of Animal Crossing, just kind of getting some of the daily tasks done, like the bare basics, like shaking the trees for furniture, hitting rocks, all that stuff. I just quickly snuck in some of that since I haven't played it yet today other than quickly checking turnip prices. And yeah, then I've been typing away and I have almost four pages of stuff. It just really started flowing. It was just like... It was so good because I struggled so hard the last time I sat down to work on this. I was just struggling to like get my thoughts out and make it coherent and make it in an order that makes sense. This was just pure progress. Pure progress. Oh, I'm really happy and I even just sat here and read it back. I am going to bed now though so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Flat shelves stack into each other. It's, it's really great. It can be disassembled nice and flat, which I like. So I might get that at Canadian Tire, get one or two of those big ones. And at Canadian Tire, I wanna get a big shelf to go behind this plastic table in front of me because I'll have it against a wall with a shelf above it so the shelf will overhang over the table and that's where I'll keep full